Well, hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your love story reading for October. If you're new, hello, my name is Amber. It's nice to meet you. If you're returning, thank you for lending your energy on this soul vibe that we're on. And um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss out on these posts. Um, there is a few, ch a bit of channel news that I want to talk about. Um, so we have changed the schedule. Nothing bad. It's just that there'll be a reading every day, Monday through Friday. So um, one week is generals, the other is love, mids, mid love, so on and so forth. Okay. Also, we have a Facebook um, along with Instagram now, and there I will post energy transits, weekly energy, anything that um, I want to briefly talk about or you can talk to me or each other um also we have started a patreon so on this patreon which i'm excited about um all the readings will be posted two weeks early okay or 13 days something like that if it takes longer to upload um there's extra there will be bonus content so if there's a transit that i want to elaborate on and do actually do a video then it will be on there um and also we're working on a new tier for live chats like a group chat where you can ask questions and i'll answer them okay so that's the news thank you for listening um, please remember that if you want a private reading, links in the description box below, or you can go to the website up above. I'll be more than happy to help you with that. So Sagittarius, let's jump into your love reading for October. Okay, Sagittarius. So let's see what love brings you in October. I feel like, uh, Sagittarius, your partner's about to get some things off of your chest, right? And off of their chest, excuse me. And I feel like it's not exactly what you expect. It's not bad. It just is a little bit of change of direction for your mind. But I feel like you're able to handle it. And if something is worth it to you, you'll you'll trek the, the mountains, you know what I mean? So I feel like you'll be fine. I'm not really worried about you. I don't feel worried about seeing that um there we go. i do feel like this is good for the relationship though i do feel like there's a moment where you have to ground yourself and kind of realize that this could be a good thing or this could be a positive for your relationship so it doesn't feel bad to me not in the least bit actually it feels real, you know, like, like adult, you know. I was down a little too far from my liking. Okay. Yeah, you may have been thinking that this wasn't the person for you. Um, like you needed to take some time to yourself or there was some sort of uh, separation between you two. Obviously separation. Um, but I feel like this helped you decide what it is that you wanted and come back to your power and not like give it up to anybody like your power because you really wanted to be with them or you like them so much. Some of you, somebody knew was coming in um, to your life. And they're a breath of fresh air. The big thing that I'm seeing here for you, Sagittarius, no matter what your story is, to take care of yourself. And kind of just let things develop in the way that they will, because I feel like they will get better. You know, but don't anticipate everything that's going to happen don't push just kind of let it grow on its own you know i feel like you have you're more confident right now where you don't have to 
show off or you don't have to push. I feel like you're trying to invite something into your life. Something better, something truthful to you. To, you know, to your real, true self, you know. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have the crown chakra. This is going to take a little bit of understanding, okay? You're going to have to look beyond your own desires, hopes, dreams and within this time. So with this card, I feel like there was a renewal. This could be a renewal of self or a renewal of a relationship. Um... Maybe feeling like things are more on the up and up here. But. You feel really successful. It's like you found calm within a situation, within a relationship, and you feel really good about it. You feel like you've won or you've achieved some sort of goal, but I don't feel like the thing has actually been taken care of. You're just in a good spot. Yeah, especially with this world card being here. Um, there's an end to that phase, but then the start of investigation of a new one, I feel like. So there's something that you need to end, whether this is with a person or away from them, in order to find success. It's like you had to get that emotional renewal back into yourself. Yeah, somebody's trying to take some action on to you Sagittarius or get into your space and to f to either fix something and start a new cycle with you or this is a new person kicking it up a notch from friends to to dating or something of that nature um but I feel like they have a positive mindset about it they're just looking to kind of like heal this it, I, it doesn't feel bad to me. There's a change in the wind during this time. And you need to stay grounded and not jump head first into it, you know, or anything like that. Yeah, this, this is coming back around so you can build a proper foundation, okay? Um, someone may be offering to move in, to move together, something more committed. And it's really a big surprise to you. And I feel like you're trying to decide what to do with it. It's like being faced with a thing you want, but wanting to make the best decision. Is what I'm getting from that control card. Because you have this sense of power now. You have this sense of confidence and you're like, well, since I'm not pushing to make this happen, I kind of just want to cruise here for a minute. Yeah, you definitely got your confidence back. I don't know what happened. <clears throat> Things weren't going in the direction that you wanted it to. But because you kept pushing, because you were determined, it's like you're not afraid of what's next. This is weird. Yeah, whatever it is, you're in a happy moment. You're in a happy spot. You feel good. You're not even thinking about what may come. I feel like you're just happy in this spot right now. Kind of giving ben the benefit of the doubt away. After no communication or scattered communication with no real point, I feel. Um, and I also feel you're not mentally held on to an outcome right now. And that's what's helping you see the truth. That's what help, helping you openly communicate because you're not thinking about the goal. You're not trying to say the right things, things like that.
Yeah. You're ending holding on to everything is what they're saying to me. Just holding on. You know, you're looking at the miscalculations that you have taken and you're leaving that in the past. That's not what you're going to take with you. You're not even, you're not entertaining that. Yeah, somebody you're dealing with is coming out of arrest. Um, I feel like this person wants a commitment. I also feel like they come with a lot of stuff. I don't know why I'm feeling this. They come with a lot of baggage. Whether this is actual physical stuff or emotional baggage. But they're willing. I feel like they're willing and ready to open up about it now. Yeah, I feel like it's going to hurt. Um, I feel like. I feel like they're trying to get over the idea that. Relationships are. That this relationship well, it's, it's more with you. That this relationship isn't the cause for anxiety or fear. And it's not superficial what they're feeling. Yeah, it's like they're coming to terms with their set, with their feelings. With what they want. Yeah, this feels like a renewal here. Not with new love. Yeah, the truth is that there needed to be some change because either you or this person or both needed to feel respected, cared for, and like there was some sort of achievement here, okay? Because there's no, there was no point to what was happening. There needed to be some sort of breakthrough. I feel like somebody knows for sure that they want something. I feel like this is this person towards you. They know for sure that they want something. They want it to be stable and real and, and strong and sturdy. And they know that they have to stand strong in their truth in order to get things to work. I do feel like this person is either like new to this or inarticulate in how to express themselves so be aware of that yeah i feel like there are going to be some things that this person doesn't do or talk about or act that maybe irritate you but i feel like you're learning how to accept those things about this person because of the commitment they're trying to give Yeah, I see somebody standing strong. You're standing strong in your emotions and not letting them rule you. Because you know when you do that, when you lash out, when you react without thinking or something like that, that it hinders this process. It's like you're allowing space for your person to open up, for them to express, for them to expand. Okay, so we have impasse for you. Yeah, whatever was happening, it wasn't really helping the situation. Whatever you were doing, whatever they were doing, right? The blockage needed to come down because, you know, it's like there needed to be emotional release. And I feel like that's what you're getting here. Yeah, this person needs to understand that, that like, they're a person too. They have feelings too. It doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you less of a person to communicate how you feel with your partner or open up, right? Yeah, this is fear of rejection from both of you. Mostly them, though. This is like a this is like childhood shadow energy that they need to deal with with rejection. With service, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some patience. It's going to take your love to uh, not not love grace. Okay, to to ease this process. So don't go forward with so much energy because I feel like right here with all this sacral energy that it could be that way. It's like you need to adjust your drive to more compassion and grace and, and smoothness. You know what I'm saying? So I love you guys. I will see you later. Don't forget to check out the videos that will be here. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.